Hey everyone, Dr. Baron Grutter here again. So now in this video, we're gonna go over how to get your design started. Okay, so on your left side, underneath your username, you're gonna see things where you can search for as you get more and more designs. If you wanna go back and look at something, you can search for them here. 3D designs is what most of everything you're gonna be working with and circuits and code blocks are gonna be more advanced things. Lessons are when you do some of the lessons, you're gonna find an opportunity to review the lessons you've done. Now these aren't lessons I'm doing, these are up here in the learn section. So I don't want you to not be aware of this, there are some great lessons here where we're gonna teach a lot of the same things that I'm gonna teach, okay? So this is another option for you. So to get out of here, I'm just gonna come back up and click on this icon up here. Okay, it's gonna bring us back to where we are, where we were, I should say. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on create new design. Wait for the computer to process for a second, or the browser, I should say, and it's gonna bring us right into the, the area we're gonna be able to work around in, okay? So a couple things to know. First of all, what do your mouse buttons do? The mouse is what you control your computer with. If you press the left button on your on your mouse, it's going to allow you to make, make a big square or rectangle. And basically anything within that square or rectangle is going to be highlighted. We'll get to that a little bit later, okay? If you click the right button, it allows you to move things around. So imagine this is a piece of paper in front of you or whatever that you're gonna be working on, your workspace. This is just what it looks like on the computer, okay? In a 3D visual, okay? You can also use the wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. And that's about it, okay? All right. Bear, if you ever want to, if you get lost and you want to get back to where you were, you can click on this little box up here and it will change kind of where you're looking at. Okay, so it's very important to know because you can always come back to the front or if you want to look at the top, you can find the top, you can look at the, the right or the bottom or however you want to look, okay? And you can even, if you click right on the edge, it's going to go right between the two of them. So it just gives us different angles. There's lots of different ways to look, but this just helps us to kind of figure out where we were in case we got so twisted around, we're kind of lost. We can just use this little uh, cube up here and it will help us to find back where we needed to be, okay? All right, so now the most important thing I wanna to talk to you about are the shapes. For now, we have a bunch of different options in here. If we click on this menu, there are different types of shapes, but we're gonna stick with the basic shapes. And for instance, I'm gonna grab this box and I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna drag it right over here into the middle of my work plane or my workspace, okay? So now here's the box. I can click on it and it, this little menu pops up and tells me a little bit about the box. It tells me that the length is 20, whatever my units down here are, so that's gonna be millimeters. The width is going to be 20 millimeters. The height is 20 millimeters. If I wanna change any of those, I can double click on it and I can type in a new number. Hit the enter button on my keyboard and then it gets changed. If I wanna make it a lot taller, Maybe I'll put in 60 millimeters. Hit enter, and now it's much bigger. Okay? So let's change this back down. Let's change these numbers to 20 and 20. So we're back to where we started. Like I said before, if I select it, that's one way I can click on it, or I can highlight all of it by making a little rectangle around it. So right now I've got this, this cube in here. Now let's pretend I wanna make a house out of it. If you look over here, there's a shape that's called a roof. I can bring that in here and I can set it right, right in front of it. And there it is. But I do need to get that roof on top of the house, if you will, okay? So I'm gonna click on it and you see this little arrow over top of it. I can click on this arrow and I can drag it up top. Notice there's a little marker right here that's telling me it's 19 millimeters. That's how high it is off of the ground here, okay? And if I wanna know how high it was again, I just click on that arrow and it tells me it's 19. Well, if I know this block is 20 millimeters tall, I can click on this and I can type in 20. 
And there it is. It's going to be the same height. So now I can click on it, depending on which, how I'm looking at it. If I click here, I can press on my little keyboard. There's little arrows in the bottom right corner of your keyboard, and I can press forward. And I can get it till it lines up just right. Uh-oh, it's a little to the left. Click the right arrow button, and now it's centered right over top. If I click off of it, I can see that I've now made a house. That was pretty quick and pretty easy, right? So, what if we wanted to make a bigger house? Well, let's take another box. Let's set it in here. But in this time, let's say we want it to be, we can drag this right here to whatever length we want. Or let's type in 40. Okay? So it's now 40 millimeters wide. We've got a wider house now. You can also, if you don't want to type in the numbers here, if you notice, if I come right down here to these little squares on here, it tells me how wide it is and how, uh, what the length is, what the width is, and what the height is. If I click right here and type, I can change that however I want. The same way as if I had typed it up here. So now, what if I want to add a roof to it? I can bring this roof over to, over here. And now I, I want to make sure that it too is 40 millimeters wide. So if I type in 40, now it's the same. I want to lift it up. I want to bring it to 20 because that was that same height as that last one. And now, like before, I can use the arrow buttons on my keyboard to line it up. Click somewhere else, and you can see I've now got two different houses. One soup, one's a little, twice as wide as the other. Okay? So that is, is the options we have there. And as you see, there's lots of different shapes we can use to make things. Okay, but this is the most basic of things. So now, for the next lesson, what I would like you to do is I would like you to make the two houses I've shown here. One that is a square with a, a triangular roof on top, and one that is a rectangular, twice as wide, or whatever size you want to make it, with a rectangular roof on top of it. All right, that's it for this video.